welcome to the No Spin News. Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. Stand up for your country. So we are uh, covering the Democratic uh, National Convention in Chicago from Long Island because <laughs> it's much safer here to do that. But the reason is I've been to so many conventions, both Republican and Democrat. I don't need to go anymore. I know what the drill is. And it's easier for me to as- assemble information away from it. Now, as you know, we don't have a party here. Uh, I'm a registered independent. And the reason that I've done that for decades is because if you are a registered Democrat or Republican, then you have an obligation to that party. You're an apparatchnik. And I don't want any obligations to any political party because my job is to watch both of them so they don't hurt you. OK, it's very simple. And that simplicity has led to massive success for the enterprises that we have undergone in the past 25 years. So what we have now is um, a country that really doesn't understand the massive changes that are taking place. And I'm not being supercilious word of the day. They just the folks don't really know. Uh, and it's my job to bring to their attention what's really happening. And we're going to do that tonight. All right. Our coverage of the uh, election has been tough and honest. You know that. Um, when Donald Trump does something that I feel is hurting the country, I say that. Same thing with Joe Biden. And that's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Mr. Biden's speech last night, he took to the stage at about 1130 East Coast time. He's usually in the land of Nod by then, stayed up late, but his energy level was good. Um, you know, he delivered the speeches on a teleprompter. It was long. And essentially, he was telling everybody, hey, I I have been a very successful and even brilliant president. Go. As your president, I've been determined to keep America moving forward, not going back, to stand against hate and violence in all its forms, to be a nation where we not only live with and but thrive on diversity, demonizing no one, leaving no one behind, and becoming the nation that we profess to be. I also ran to rebuild the backbone of America, the middle class. I made a commitment to you that I be a president for all Americans, whether you voted for me or not. We have done that. Uh, No, you haven't even come close to doing that. You have not helped the middle class, the working class at all. In any way. That's the truth. And I'll back it up now. If you got a pen and paper, here we go. According to Customs and Border Patrol, 8.5 million foreign nationals have been encountered at the southern border. Another 3 million are called gotaways. Okay, they they came over. It's about 12 million people that have crossed into the United States under the Biden-Harris administration. That is by far and away the biggest influx in the history of this country and has cost close to 200 billion dollars. We have 151 billion on the screen. That was in May. All right. And it's just overwhelmed the budgets of major cities like New York, of counties, of smaller towns, of border towns. This open border has crushed the fiscal profiles of cities, states and counties. That's the truth. Now, who pays for that? working and middle class people. That's who pays. So that's number one on immigration. It's absurd to contend that you did a good job in that area. Secondly, the economy, personal stuff. All right. Gas prices up 38 percent under Biden Harris. Food up 21 percent. Mortgage rates up 148 percent. Home insurance up 61 percent car insurance up 118 percent real wages what you take home down 2.24 percent 
that sound like uh, he's rebuilt the middle class to you? Does it? Let's be honest. All right. The average American does not have five hundred dollars in savings. Does that sound like a rebuilding of your security? So it's a disaster. But the Democratic Party is not going to acknowledge any of that, even though they are, in fact, stone. They're in stone and you cannot debate them. OK, now we source the whole thing. If you are a premium or concierge member, you can get a transcript of what I just told you. But I, I tell you, there's no debate about it. So when you have 50 percent of all working people in this country that don't have 500 bucks in a bank, you got a disastrous situation. And the Democratic Party wants to raise taxes on corporation. That is their centerpiece in Chicago. And the corporations will pass that cost along to the consumer. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell you. All right. Now, socially, drug deaths in the United States are up 36 percent under Biden. And that stat is low because a lot of people don't even report the ODs. They, they put them on some other uh, on the um, death certificate, some other cause of death. Thirty six percent. That's again because of the open border, the massive amount of narcotics and narcotics is the main driver of social disorder. Now, this is an amazing stat. You ready? Sixty eight percent of convicts in county and local situations are drug addicted. Six, eight. And they have no problem buying any narcotic they want. And it's cheap because of the open border. Does that sound like backbone of middle class to you, rebuilding? Does it? So this is just a catastrophe of uh, bad social economic stats. I'm not even going to get into overseas. OK, it's not even worth doing that at this point. So there you have it. And that people are uh, in Chicago on the convention floor cheering and screaming for the success of the Biden-Harris administration. And you look at them and you go, OK, we know what it is. People believe what they want to believe. Facts don't matter. You know people like that. I know you do. I don't have too many of them around me because I frighten the hell out of them. OK, because, you know, this is my job. My job is to assemble this kind of information. But, you know, look. Joe Biden's the second worst president in American history. My uh, upcoming book, Confronting the Presidents, out September 10th, will document that. When Trump says Biden's the worst, Trump is wrong. He's not the worst. Buchanan was worse, James Buchanan. Okay, but Biden's number two. And believe me, I will lay it out so a fourth grader could understand it. Okay, that's the memo. All right, DNC night two, Barack and Michelle Obama. That'll be a love fest. Um, Doug Emhoff, that's uh, Kamala Harris's husband. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, who has destroyed the state of Illinois. Destroyed Chicago. Destroyed because of that guy. But he's got a feature, uh, and he's going to tell everybody how great it is. Okay. All right, J.D. Vance update. I promised you yesterday we've been negotiating uh, with the senator for a long time upon the no spin news. So on Thursday, he will be here. So he says victory wasn't easy at the end of the program. And a final thought, I'll tell you what our process was, but we got him. Now, this isn't going to be a cat lady interview. I don't care about the cat ladies. If you like cats, good. I'm glad. Guys like cats, too. This is going to be policy. And I have some, not legitimate, but important questions for Senator Vance that he's never been asked. And I'm anxious to hear his point of view. We're going to give him plenty of room to roam, too. We're going to give him a lot of time on Thursday. Because I don't think he's done an interview yet where he's defined his outlook on America. I don't know it. But we will. That's coming up on Thursday. Very happy to get him. 
Now, Donald Trump was confronted yesterday by a CBS reporter. Um, where was he? Uh, I don't know where he was. He was running around. I think he was in Pennsylvania. OK. Um, Caitlin Huey Burns caught up with uh, President Trump. Go. Why insult her intelligence? Well, I, I have to do that. Well, I don't think she's a very bright person. I do feel that. I mean, I think that's right. I think I am a very bright person. And a lot of people say that. I don't think she's a very bright person. And you know what? Our country needs a very smart person. All right. So it's a personal stuff that Donald Trump should get away from. Because he's speaking to the choir, not to the independent voters that could put him back into the Oval Office. You, you watching me and listening to me on our a massive amount of radio stations across the country, you are perfectly capable of deciding whether Kamala Harris is an intelligent person or not. You don't need Donald Trump or me or anybody else to tell you that. OK. You work hard to support yourself and your family, but it may seem like you never take that next financial step forward. If the bills are higher than what you bring in, a credit card might be what's making up the difference for you. The problem is the debt keeps on growing. Well, if you own a home, my friends at American Financing can help you break that cycle. American Financing saves people like you an average of $854 a month. Even better, it costs nothing to find out how much you can save. And if you call American Financing today, you might be able to delay two mortgage payments. So start your journey towards being credit card debt free. Please call 888-462-9557, 888-462-9557, or visit AmericanFinancing.net. OK, let's go to the mail. We got Steve Hunt, Whitney, Texas. At this moment in time, America is more divided than any time since 1860. Democratic Party and other far left groups don't understand capitalism. Um, will there be a secessionist movement? No, because Americans live too comfortably. Even the poor in this country have far more than middle class in most other countries. There's not going to be any violence or secession or anything like that. Political process will play out, in my opinion. Uh, John Gennon, New Orleans. I'm planning to vote for Trump, but listening to him speak drives me crazy. I can hear the race slipping away with ever meander. If you just took about news items you're talking about, O'Reilly, with the same precision, he would win. Well, you know, the president has ample opportunity to see what we're doing here, and I think he knows what we're doing here. Margaret Sullivan, Manhasset, New York, when watching tonight's commentary on the Trump Vance operation, Donald Trump's lack of focus on the key issues, Vance not responding to invitations. My husband stated this is sounding like the failed Romney Ryan campaign. Not yet. Not yet. There's time for uh, Trump Vance to turn it around because they got the issues on their side. They absolutely do. Edward, the judge will send Trump to jail. I guarantee it. Edward, I'll put huge money on that. Donald Trump is not going to prison. Not. OK. And I'll, I'll make a bet with anybody for charity. Not going to do it. Uh, William Lampman, Malton, New Jersey. Uh, so now the push is to vote early. Why would they be doing that, Bill? I don't trust what happened in the last election. I want to vote the night of the election. Well, 50 states dictate how you vote. So the federal government has nothing to do with it. Some states allow you to vote well in advance, and there's nothing anybody can do about that. Under the Constitution, the states have the right to set their own voting procedures. Whether you trust it or not, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, Pam England, Rossville, Georgia. Can we please get T-shirts added to your gear? I still wear my Don't Be a Pinhead T-shirt. Way to go, Pam. I think I'll get them for the Christmas season. But the mugs now are just flying out of here and people want the political memorabilia. So we're going to do that. And that brings us to the store. We hope you go to the BillOReilly.com store and get the memorabilia bundle. Team Normal, mug, not woke, no socialism, our latest and flying out. We got a very special price on the three. You can buy them individually. And then confronting a president's out September 10th. 
pre-order. You'll get it first from us. We will not bill you until we send it to you. All right? It's going to be a huge book. And you want to get it as quickly as possible because it pertains to the election. Word of the day, do not be a blather skite. Love that word. B-L-A-T-E-R-S-K-I-T-E. Blather skite. Back with a final thought about J.D. Vance in a moment. By now you have heard me talk about Delta Rescue. They are a fantastic organization that helps rescue animals from the wilderness. You know, I'm a dog lover, so is Leo Grillo, the founder of Delta Rescue. It is his life's mission to provide everlasting care for these once abandoned animals. I myself have donated to Delta Rescue. Do you believe it is part of man's duty to care for dogs and horses, the animals that so much of our history is tied to? If so, please consider making a donation or consult your advisor about leaving a gift in your will or trust. There can be some tax advantages, and it's a great way to help Delta Rescue accomplish their mission. So please visit DeltaRescue.org to learn more. That's DeltaRescue.org. Have you ever been buried in debt, piles of overdue bills, threatening phone calls, and it just won't stop? Done with debt is your way out. They have developed aggressive new strategies to end your debt permanently. Done with debt tirelessly negotiates with your creditors to lower or even forgive what you owe. And they do it all without bankruptcy or new loans. Done with debt as unique strategies to get you out of debt faster. But you need to hurry because some debt solutions are time sensitive. Visit donewithdebt.com and talk with one of their debt relief strategists for free. You have nothing to lose except your debt. Go to donewithdebt.com, donewithdebt.com. Okay, final thought of the day. So yesterday I said that we were negotiating with the Vance team to get him on this program and it was not easy. Now, He's busy. He's underwater. He's all over the place. We know that. And we were very accommodating in working into his schedule. What I needed to see was whether he wanted to do the interview or not. This is no cupcake here. You know that. We'll never get Harris or uh, Waltz, ever. They never come up against me in a million years. Trump We've interviewed them all the time. In fact, next week, when I'm on vacation, we're going to show you the four Trump history shows. And where do you see this if you haven't seen it before? It's really something. Anyway, Vance is going to come in, as I said, top of the program on Thursday. All issues. Okay? Not going to do the BS stuff they do on cable TV or the Sunday morning shows. Issues. No cupcakes. We don't do that. You know that. So we're very happy that the senator has agreed. I did not want to come here and tell you that he was running. I did not want to do that. All right. So hopefully it'll all work out well. And uh, believe me, it's just like Stephen A. I mean, Stephen A, you got to give him credit for coming in. I don't know. Most people would never have done that. But it was respectful. It was back and forth. I think it was riveting. Let me know what you think. Bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town. All right. I'm going to be on News Nation tonight. I'm going to be on News Nation tomorrow, Cuomo, and then right after the Kamala speech on Thursday, I will be there analyzing that speech. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.